I'm Kendra Von Esch of Shalom World, bringing you the news from around the globe. A documentary film, The Divine Plan, will be released in nearly 700 movie theaters in the United States on November 6th. This feature-length documentary, directed by Robert Orlando, explores the remarkable friendship between President Ronald Reagan and Pope John Paul II during the Cold War period. It features interviews with Pope John Paul II biographer George Weigel, New York Archbishop Cardinal Timothy Dolan, and Los Angeles Auxiliary Bishop Robert Barron. The documentary unveils both the religious and political history that shaped the passions of these two extraordinary world leaders of their time. The University of Mary will name its new School of Health Sciences after St. Gianna Beretta Mola, a pediatrician and mother who declined cancer treatment in order to save her unborn baby. The announcement was made on November 1st during the university's annual candlelight gala at the Lumen Vitae University Center on campus. St. Gianna's youngest daughter, Emanuela Mola, attended the gala and approved naming the school in honor of her mother, which will occur once the fundraising goal is achieved. A special Mass was celebrated on All Souls Day by Pope Francis in Rome's Catacombs of Priscilla, which is an ancient and prominent cemetery where many early Christian martyrs were buried during the first century. In his homily, Pope Francis said that the martyrs of the church in the first centuries, who came to the catacombs to celebrate the Eucharist and were killed for the faith, have the same identity as the many Christians who are persecuted around the world today. He said the number of Christians who are persecuted today are much more than those in the first centuries. The Holy Father also offered Mass on Monday for the souls of cardinals and bishops who died this past year. He stressed the need for charity and compassion, urging Christians to meditate on the final judgment. Pope Francis has decreed December 10th the Feast of Our Lady of Loreto to be included in all calendars and liturgical books. The decree was published on October 31st by the Vatican Congregation for Divine Worship and the Sacraments. Cardinal Robert Serra, the prefect of the Congregation for Divine Worship, said that the new feast will help all people, especially families, youth, and religious, to imitate the virtues of the perfect disciple of the gospel, the Virgin Mother, who in conceiving the head of the church also accepted us as her own. The Holy Shrine, where the Holy House of Mary is preserved, is situated in a small town of Loreto in Italy. According to historical documentations, the Holy House was brought from Palestine to Italy in the 13th century. The shrine gained huge popularity in the Middle Ages and has been visited by many popes and saints. Pope Francis visited the Holy House earlier this year on the Solemnity of the Annunciation. Robert P. George, a Princeton University professor, was honored with the St. John Paul II New Evangelization Award on October 23rd by the Catholic Information Center in Washington for his tireless service in the field of Catholic intellectual life. In his acceptance speech, Robert reminded everyone that the days of comfortable Catholicism are over. He said that every believer must make a decision between fight or flight in the matters of faith commitment. He urged believers to resist the temptations and values of aggressive secularist paganism. Thanks for watching and for your support. Stay in touch on social media, our app, and online at shalomworld.org. May you walk in the light of the Lord. And may peace be with you always.